viewers and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday the 6th of June and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, West Indies takes care of UAE and in our feature for this evening, Hard Times manages to hold on to slender win over large Patriots. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Has anyone ever touched you here, here or here? Well, these are actually bad touches, not good ones. And so if anyone ever touches you in these areas or anywhere else that makes you uncomfortable, you must say no, then go and tell. Say it with me. Say no, then go and tell. This message was brought to you by the Department of Gender Affairs in collaboration with Probation and Child Protection Services, the Ministry of Health, and the Pan-American Health Organization. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. A classy 112 from Brandon King and a free wicket haul from Kima Paul powered West Indies to a resounding victory as they chased down 203 with 88 balls to spare against UAE. In the first of their free match, one days in sultry Sharjah on Sunday. While Paul was playing a one-day match after almost a year, King marked his promotion to vice captaincy with a match-winning performance, kicking off a rock, kicking off a new era for West Indies under new captain Shai Hope and new head coach Darren Sammy. The visitors looked untroubled, chasing in testing conditions on a pitch offering turn and uneven bounce. The win comes as a boost to West Indies as they prepare for the One Day World Cup qualifiers later this month in Zimbabwe. King's maiden one day hundred came off one hundred and seven deliveries and he also stitched a crucial ninety one run match defining stand for the second wicket with Shamar Brooks to crush the UAE. Summary West Indies 206 for free from 35.2 overs. Brandon King 112, Sharma Brooks 44, beat UAE 202 all out from 47.1 overs. Ali Nasir 58, Kima Paul free for 34. West Indies won by seven wickets. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Hi, my name is Desiree Parry. Fitness has always been a big part of my life, but I never actually took it seriously until like maybe. 10 years ago. I am a mother of four, and because of fitness, um, it makes me look great, staying healthy and fit, and actually now I am a fitness trainer at Fit Wellness Center. Fit is healthy. Well, I'm back, and tonight football is in the spotlight. SKNFA action for last weekend was at the Nevis Athletic Stadium. In Game 1, Hard Times of Nevis came up against Lodge Patriots out of St. Kitts. Hard Times scored by a stroke of luck in the early exchanges when the goalkeeper reversed towards his goal, thinking that the ball would go over the crossbar, but instead the ball somehow got into the back of the net. By halftime, Hard Times was leading with a scoreline of two goals to nil. Very early in the second half, Hard Times made it three goals to nil, and it looked as if the fat lady would make an early entrance. However, Lodge Patriots regrouped and seized the momentum, heading into the latter stages of the game. They knocked in not one, but two goals of their own and missed out on a third on more than one occasion. Hard Times also missed out on a few chances to make it four goals up as well. Kudos to both goalkeepers, who generally excelled with some excellent saves. Final score, Hard Times 3, Lodge Patriots 2. We take in some of the action from the Nevis Athletic Stadium. It's going to be Hard Times ball. It's going to be a throw in. So, there's a throw in. Going into his defensive half. But he's going to clear the danger. No, he doesn't. That's poor work. So, Lodge with the ball. But the defense for Hard Times getting into the mix very quickly. Toss of a ball control, still large, still large, still large trying to get some space, but I'm um, not quite getting the space. So hard times now, trying to run through the ball a bit tangled up here. 
And no large defending stoutly, knocking it around. Large number eight is calling back for it. Number six knocks it forward at times. That's Curtis Morton Jr. missing for a moment, but still well taken away from large. Curtis Morton Jr. trying to get his way through. He's knocked over. The referee says, yeah. And uh, the large Patriots um, debating that call and saying it was a, 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 a regular fall. The referee is saying, look here, don't, don't argue with me. I've made the call. You tripped the player. He went down. I've made the call. And so it's going to be a free kick for the hard time steam. Patriots having a bit of a wall formation. He doesn't go big on the kick. It's a, well, he's been asked to shake one. Morton now trying to go forward. Knocks it forward. Going more on the left. Morton didn't see that play. He read it late, but um, back with hard times in the mix here. Hard times with a possible chance. No, the referee says um, that's uh, against the hard times team, close to the goal and all. And so it's a goal kick for Lodge. So here's Lodge with the goal kick, goes on this right flank. So moving forward, Lodge with the touch. And uh, goes out. Referee saying no, you don't do that. Now it's been knocked around. Hard times with the ball. Goes hard. He's trying to control. Number 10 goes high. Has it gone in? It has gone in. Well, well, well. You'll have to call that a fluky goal. But he kicked it high. I think he thought that he was going over the crossbar. He went over his head and into the goal. So hard times have scored very early indeed. Would you call that a fluky goal? Or would you say the player knew what he was doing? My goodness, what a way to start. One goal to nil. Hard times up one. Patriots would want to come back from that lodge. That one lodging in the back of the net and all. No, hard times, fighting for ball control, pressuring the, uh, more pressure on the goalie, more pressure on the goalie, more pressure on the goalie, and just managed to grab onto it. So, Lodge, a little loose in their play for the moment. They haven't got their feet on this Mondo track as yet. Still looking a little bit um, as if they, a, a little bit, the boat ride and all is affecting them a little seasick. So, it's a goal kick now for Lodge. Lodge with the goal kick. And the pass is wide on the right flank. He has a lot of space. What does he do? He's trying to shake his man. Taken off him. That's good work by Hard Times. Passes it around. Knocks it forward now. Anybody home? Anybody home? And the whistle goes. It's against Hard Times. And so it's back with Lodge. On the left flank now. Going forward. Knocks it back, putting pressure on himself, I believe. Still, Lodge shakes his way through. Now Lodge on the left flank, making movements, tries to stop hard times. Just for the moment, stopped it. It's against them, though. Um, referee decides it's against um, hard times, so it's a free kick now for Lodge, and it's about half line. Well, more than half line. This could be interesting. How does he deal with it? Knocks it flat. Lodge still with the touch. Goes flat. Trying to run through. He kicks it. The goalkeeper gets up and hangs on to it. Intercepting well on that occasion, the goalie. And holding on to it. So Lodge getting in a shot. Now it's a goal kick. A strong one. Where's the goalkeeper? He's under some pressure. He's reversing. Shouldn't be reversing so close to his goal. But he was reversing. Rolls it out now. And now it's Lodge with the run through on the left flank, trying to control. Good work, but lost it for the moment, but still controlled by one of his teammates who did some good work to get onto it. And so it's back with Lodge shaking his way through. Well intercepted there by the hard times defender. Ball still in touch, a little bit of pushing. There's no whistle, so he's still with Lodge, kicking it forward now. Lodge may have another chance at goal here. Here's a chance, the ball goes out. Going for Lodge. And uh, or is it? 
yes, it's going to be a throw in for Lodge. Just that the player has opted to allow another player, maybe an instructions from the coach, deciding another player will take that throw in. Sometimes these throw ins can be very strong. This is a just a short little throw in, and the danger cleared. Out it goes. Morton goes wide on the right flank and too hard, has he? No, he's kept in. Hard time still with the control. The referee says play on. Lodge takes it away, knocks it forward. And uh, Lodge not controlling. Morton gets a touch on it. Morton thinking about going forward. He's going to drive. He drives it a low. Oh, just wide of the upright. One time I attempted there by Morton. And it just went wide of the upright. Again, the goalkeeper was under some pressure there. So, we're flowing now for hard times. Not the strongest of throwings, but at least it works well for the moment. Lodge now trying to shake that pressure. Lodge now working on the left flank. Lodge doing pretty well. Um, still with the touch, still large, still large. He's trying to find some space. Large on the offensive, large on the offensive. The goalkeeper comes out. Somebody called him and said, Goalie, come out. And he came out. He grabbed onto it. Now he's trying to make up his mind how he's going to deal with it. He finds the large player, chested. He hasn't controlled it yet, though. And he has knocked it out of touch. Certainly hadn't controlled it. And knocked it out of I could tell you that the goalkeeper will be under some pressure here because this throw is not going to be any short throw it's going to be a powerful throw pretty close to the goal look at this almost 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 but headed nicely there by by large they have cleared the danger he falls over and uh, well this could be interesting this could be really interesting taken away by large but but hard time still with the touch for the moment large getting in the mix once more hard times gets back into the mix hard times no drives trying for a run to stop nicely by large large with the touch no staying too long i thought with it taken away by hard times on the right flank he's gonna have to cross he's gonna try to cross but he's been pressured trying to find some space taken off him by by large large with the touch on the left flank large moving nicely but i think he has knocked it out of touch and so it's going to be hard times with the throwing knocks it back anybody home large is going to try to turn large turns drives no with that one time ah, away from the upright he just swung and he drilled drove into it and he just went away from the upright once more one time I attempted second chance at goal there and just away from the upright now getting into the mix once more hard times with the ball hard, hard times has applied some pressure and uh, Hard times still with the touch. Morton thought he was going to drive into that once more. Hard times and the ball, it's against them. So it's going to be Lodge's ball. Apparently the ball went out. No, it didn't. So it's going to be a free kick for Lodge. How strong is that kick? Pretty good kick. And defended there. Morton it is. Knocks it. He drives into it. At times player turns, how he's going to handle it, the large defender, he's under pressure, how does he handle it, he comes away with it though, now he shakes one, but hard times gets the touch once more, hard times running through, hard times trying to, oh he knocks it out, does the large player, decide it so, it's going, well, it's going to be a flowing, another strong flowing, another flow, goes in, hard times has scored, Morton again with that strong flow, and uh, strong flow and headed in well done so that's two goals to nil again that strong flow that makes a difference it's it's like a corner kick really because it's going right up there by the goal area and it was nicely touched in off the head of one of the players so two goals to zip hard times leading for the moment now, large with the touch. They are going to be under pressure once more because it's in their half and they are going back. So they are under pressure. But now he tries to clear the danger. Can he keep it in? I think he has done poorly. 
no he's still in touch so he's still in touch now tries to touch it forward one of the guys didn't really see that play and he just stood there the ball went past him now it's hard times exchanging now applying pressure on the right flank man goes down pushed down by the hard times player and so the whistle goes against hard times and it's now with large with the touch knocks it forwards not the best of touches on that occasion but he's running through nicely nice push off there ah large applying some pressure hard times now trying to avert that pressure and may have knocked it out yes he has because he was pressured there and he decided to knock it out of touch player for hard times goes down So it's going to be hard times with the free kick and uh, stopped by Morton. But it's hard. It's large coming away with the play. Large coming away with the play. Large still with the play. Large with an open space. Large where's the goalkeeper? Country above self. That's what you call country above self. Literally putting his neck on the line. And grabbing on to it. Now he gets a powerful right boot out. Still two goals to nil. And we are well into the second half now. Hard times leading for the moment. The home fans would be very happy with that. Morton is trying to rush through. Morton is trying to rush through. Trying to bulldoze his way through here. And uh, stopped by the large defender. Still back though with hard times. He's going to try to control. He fails miserably. Large comes away with the play. Large now pushing forward nicely. Who gets there first? He knocks it to his goalkeeper. He can't hold it. He has to knock it away hard. Oh, brilliant save. It was careless work by the goalkeeper, I thought. But in the end, it was a brilliant save because he just tipped it away from him. Really should have been driving that one hard. He just tipped it away. And the large... Um, player just pounced on it and drove off a left boot. Fortunately, his reflexes are great and he was able to save the day. But it's going to be a corner kick, so it's more pressure on him now. So it's more pressure, low flat kick. He doesn't have the space. He doesn't have the space. He's looking for space. Number nine has a little space, but not quite. Looking for space. But the defenders for hard times, working over time. Still applying pressure there on the hard times goal. Still with large. He's going to cross. He's going to cross. But that's an awful cross. He goes behind the entire goal and out. Now with the hard times players. Drives into it large. And again off target. Away from the upright. It's two goals to nil the score. Certainly... Um, Lodge has had their uh, times when they possibly could have scored, but for the most part, I think Hard Times has played a better game. First goal was what I would consider a fluky goal. It really was fortune there for, for Hard Times. Second one was a lot better. Here's Morton going back off the head. Uh, Lodge has a chance. Lodge with a chance. Lodge with a chance. But the goalkeeper lies down on it. And grabs onto it nicely. They're telling him to hold the ball. He was playing around with it slightly there. Throws it out now. Controlled by the hard times player. And still running the line on the left flank. Morton asks for it. How does he deal with it? He goes more central. And back to Morton. Morton now is going to try a run through. Morton now is trying to run through. Passes back now. And uh, still with his teammate, he asks for it again. Short passes now, trying to set up the play. Goes more central. Hard times with a little bit of near to that. Large defender drives, heads go up. Now anybody there to run through for hard times. Here's a possible chance. Goalkeeper is there. Knocks it in. It's another goal. Goal number three. Hard times has scored. Make that three goals to nil. Hard times has scored. 
And that's three goals to nil. And certainly as the half runs away, lodge way behind the eight ball here at the Nevis Athletic Stadium. Three goals to nil, hard times leading. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.